do the certain way, y'all. Okay, praise God, praise God. All right. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you boldly to the throne of grace, God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare it to be so. Father God, I come against all demonic warfare. I come against warlocks and witches, spells, hexes, vexes, Father God. In and around us, in the name of Jesus, I draw a bloodline right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, have your way, Father God. We summon your God on this earth. We summon your God right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, have your way. Holy Spirit, convict. Oh, hallelujah, and conquer in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. God, I ask you right now to search our hearts, search our minds, search our wills, Father God. It is time for a turnaround, thus saith the Lord. It is time to repent, God says. It's time to come clean. What do I mean? That's the second time I've said that. He said, come clean. What am I saying? Quit lying. Quit playing. Quit straying, says God. Hallelujah. He said, it's time to face yourself. You know, we like to point the finger at everybody else, what they're doing, what they're not doing. But God says, what are you doing? Have you done what I've told you to do? Have you done what I asked you to do. Are you who I asked you to be? Oh, come on, somebody who I commanded you to be in the name of G Jesus. He said, Jeremiah said, don't look at their faces. And I've ordained you. I've ordained you for such a time as this. Stop being afraid, God says. I'm going to say it again. Stop being afraid. I'm going to say it one more time. God said, stop being afraid, for this is your time. This is your moment. And yes, what's going to happen to you, going to happen to you. That's why fear is, is trying to encamp everybody, because we know one thing. Christians will die. I just said something. That's why nobody want to be anointed. Not for real. Because you know you're going to go through something. They're going to mock you. They're going to laugh at you. And they're not going to want you around. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And you want to know why? Because see or see. I'm going to say it again. See or see. I'm going to say it again. See or see. And hold on. There is a difference because in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. So it ain't just prophets that see. Oh, come on, somebody. It could be a lay person that see your dirt, that see your hurt, that see that you need healing, that see that you need deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare it to be so. There's a turnaround. There's a shift, God says. There's a shift, God says. There's a shift that's coming. And nobody can stop it because you didn't start it. He said, my church came in power and my church is leaving in power. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare to be so. I put every warlock and witch on notice. Your assignment is terminated. I serve it to the root of that thing. You can't stop a child of God. I'm going to say it again. You can't stop a child of God because you didn't start him. Yeah, you, you, you might do a little something, something here and something, something there. And, and you know what? God said, I allowed it. Come on, somebody. Because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use it for my glory. And that's the story. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I just thank you, God. We give you honor and we give you praise. For you are worthy, God. Have your way in this class, God. Have your way in this class, God. Have your way in this class. Stop anything that's not of you. Stop anyone that's not of you. In this earth, Father God, it is just too much going on, Father God. Rise up, remnant. Rise up, remnant. Rise up, remnant, says God. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. I decree and declare to be so. Oh, hallelujah. In the blood of Jesus. Oh, I decree and declare that this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen, amen, and amen. Let me tell y'all something right now. I'm telling y'all. There's a shift. There's a shift. I can feel it. There's a shift. And, and, and if you are truly a child of God, it's getting heavy. Now, if you're not a child of God, you, you, it's getting heavy on you too. Because here's what's happening. Because of the fear, because of the fear, people are doing two things. Either they come into God or they're running from God. And they run into people that they think are in control. I just said something because I see it. I, it's so much fear. So let me go ahead with the dust said the Lord. So I don't know why God took me this way and that way. And, 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 and it, it messed with my spirit. But I understand who I am. So I, had to, I have to see hard things. I have to go through hard things. I have to accept hard things. I have to say hard things. And I get it. So let me tell y'all what happened. God's been showing me like around the world. New York, um, this happened also, I don't know, this was in a Mexican country, this latest thing that happened. He said, look at the spirit of rage. And then I said to myself, I said, God, y'all remember back in the day where they didn't allow certain things on TV? Why are they allowing us to see how people are brutally murdered? Oh, come on, somebody, I'm about to preach this thing today. He said, because he wants y'all to get comfortable with death and rage and terror and fear. Because the more, it's just like when I was telling y'all about the, the, the book, 
piercing through the darkness. Whatever it keeps going around, whatever people are putting out into the atmosphere, it has to, it has to sustain itself. So if they put rage, if they put murder, if they put this, if they put that, and you start watching it, and, and, and your spirit like it. And the reason why I said it, because most people want to record. And they know, and let me tell you how they're doing. I mean, God told me the whole thing. He said, that's why they put all cameras up. Ooh, come on, somebody. You see, the enemy is not like God. He's not omnipresent. So he can't see everything. He can't know everything. It ain't just for our safety. It is for our demise, those cameras, even these computers. Let me tell you something. I, I was a young woman. I don't remember. I was 16, 17. I'm 53 now. I don't remember the year. But I know I was in high school. And I never forget, I dreamed about these things. I didn't know what they were because they hadn't had them. I saw something just like this laptop. I saw it all. I'm not kidding. I didn't know what I was, because I didn't even know I was a prophet then. So I was, but I hold on to that dream. So when I saw these things come out, I said, wait a minute. You showed me this when I was 16, 17, that we'd be using these things. And, and it was three blocks. Uh, upon the, after the laptop, there was three blocks. Lust, money, and fame. Is that not what's being used? Lust, money, and fame. In the church and everywhere. That's why I asked you the other day, and I'm going to ask you again. And I've been doing it too. And, and, and I, I had to, I'm, they, the Bible says that when David found out the tr some truths in his life, that he ab abhorred himself. Abhorred means that's such a sad thing. I dare you to go around your home. I don't care what you have, an apartment, a house, e even your car. All the things that we have purchased because we wanted them at the time. And then when you look, you don't even use it. That's a spirit of greed, y'all. I, I, I'm guilty, too. I, I was like, okay, so I'm making arrangements. I'm, a, I'm a, you know, with the schools here. Like my daddy clothes, my daddy's suits and shirts. And my daughter's called me today. All these um, teenagers that don't have suits. And I, I'm, fin I'm going to start giving up. They're going to think I'm crazy. I really don't care. I'm going to start giving up. I am not using What am I doing? All kind of stuff in here I never opened. But but I saw it and I got to have it. I got to have it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm not the only one. I'm the only one talking about it. That's the spirit of greed. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm, I'm trying to tell you how they got us. Because that, that's also connected to lust. One demon is never just working. It's always demons. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can say what you want. It's a demonic thing. It's an oppression thing. It's a suppression thing. It's a depression thing. And they're all connected. Lust. Money. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And fame. That's why everybody want to go viral. They know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. So, so if, I, if I use these demons and rename them, come on, somebody, hallelujah, th then I might just draw in the people of God. Because if I draw them in and, and if I distract them, they can't do the things of God and they won't see what's coming. These people were brutally murdered. And I'm going to be honest with you. I still feel some kind of way. I, I don't, and I know I don't know these people. God made me watch, I don't know how many videos. I did not like that part. I'm not going to lie to you. I want to cry right now, look like. I don't know. I mean, just brutal. And I'm like, just cold-blooded. And, and I noticed something. Most people are shooting people, which are beginning in behind the head. So that means you're trying to kill them. Oh, come on, somebody. So it's a murdering spirit, which is connected to our lawlessness, which is in Revelation. That the spirit of lawlessness will come into the earth. We're here, y'all. That's what I'm saying. We're here. So now that we're here, church, what you going to do? Because most of y'all just want to look good instead of be good. Most of y'all just want, you want titles and, and, and you want to be this and that. The top prophet, the top apostle, the top minister, the top this. But you ain't got no power. Not for real, for real. Because if you truly had power, then you would understand wisdom and discernment that God's people need to be strengthened in this hour like never before. The prayers are not going on. Like God said. God said we used to pray around the clock. The enemy got us. Because he destructed our attention. We're so b busy building things and churches and this. Except the people of God. It is time to build the people of God to where they can stand. And that they can see. And that they can have wisdom and discernment. Because if you have everything and you don't have wisdom and discernment. Then I hate to tell you. You in trouble honey. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. God been on me like white on rice. The old people used to say that. He said, I, I need you to teach this thing. I, I, need, I need you to come, go deeper. I, I need you to come up higher. And, and, and just, just, like, just look what I said. Just like when you think, I'm, God, I'm, I'm, I'm already doing what you want me to do. I, I, I'm doing. 
Come deeper. Come higher. I got more to tell you. I got more to tell you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And some of you may say, well, that's not my business about somebody murdering somebody. No, it ain't your business now. Come on, somebody. That's spirit trying to kill us all. What you think this is? You think it's just them? Come on, somebody. God says, no, that's not real. The spirit of murdering, the spirit of lawlessness is trying to touch all of us. The devil comes to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. And not necessarily in that order. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and, and they pain people. <sighs> I'm about to go here, Lord. When did America love you that much to give us the money they've been giving us? Through stipends, through everything that just been going Y'all don't even know what's going on. It's the great setup. It's the setup, baby. Because the more you get, the more you might want and, and, and much you might do anything and, and, and divert from what God is saying. Y'all ain't ready for me. America been giving money away like crazy through loans, through this. Just giving it away. And no one sees the big picture. I'm, I'm going to say what I said. I don't know. I think this what got me. One of the things that got me in trouble and on that list. And that's fine. What, what list I'm talking about. Y'all know what list I'm talking about. Why these people watch me. Why they do what they do. That list. The real list. <laughs> I overheard them in the spirit. And I'm going all the way. I ain't scared. It was it's a room under the White House. They have tunnels all all through America. Oh, y'all thought just Walmart and getting ready for martial law, honey. They've been having tunnels because they do their dirt in them tunnels in them rooms. So anywho, I heard them we will bring America to her knees. You think the people hungry? Because that's all they've been doing for the last what, two, three years? And you can say what you want. And I, I'ma clarify this again. COVID was a hit. I'm going to say it again. COVID was the first hit. Let me clarify that. What are you saying to the demise of America and its people? Well, let's just say the whole world. Because I don't care what you say. And I don't care how you say it. New world order is here. It just ain't enforced yet. Martial law is coming. More moves. All you got to do is start Googling. They got more movies. And, and, and this is what I tripped out about. People are telling you, are showing you in the music, in the movies, but they're not telling you. That, that lets me know they're scared. We'll, we'll show y'all, but we can't tell y'all because we don't want them people to come after us because they'll kill you. They kill their own, so you know. This is why God is saying in this last hour, it is time for the remnant. You see the remnant? Let me tell you about you, remnant, because you don't even know that you're the remnant. You the remnant, you got a fight in you that just, you, you just won't die. And I didn't tell you, assigned time. You got a fight in you where you're not scared to say what thus saith the Lord in truth. See, the others, they scared. They only going to go so far because they know we're all being watched. Remember I talked about them cameras? Remember I talked about the, what y'all think this is? They watching because they want to know who's who. Who's a Christian? Who's this? Who's that? Who can we control? If we can't control them, we're going to have to kill them sooner or later. You think it's a game? You in one of them categories, and I don't know which one. Hallelujah. And so God is saying, the only way you can do this is how Jesus did it. You got to love God first and foremost. You got to understand that, that even in the Garden of Geth Gethsemane, he was a little afraid. So, so I understand when people get afraid. But I, I like the way he strengthened himself, and he said, but nevertheless, thy will be done and not mine. Hallelujah. And he strengthened himself, the Bible says. And he went on to his destiny, which is the crucifixion. Now, I know Christians living it up, got it going on, living their best life, want to be stars and our servants in this hour. But the true remnant, you know what you are called to do. And let me just say it so we can be clear. You, you have traded places with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You wasn't just called here to get no house, no car, no husband, no wife. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying. I, I know you think that. And, and he fooled us for a minute because the American dream, right? Yeah, yeah. What a dream. Turn into a nightmare. Come on, somebody. Let's talk for about it for real. You were called to, to change this world. You were called to give your life for Christ. Let me put it out there. That part right there. That's the part that you're scared of. And I'm going all the way tonight because I ain't got nothing to lose. I've had friends walk away because, you see, they thought I was playing until they got around me. And they start seeing weird things. Y'all know what I'm saying. And at first it was kind of like, oh, God. Then I, then I was like, wait a minute. 
They did this to the apostles. They did it to Jesus. You remember when they all left him that night when he got arrested? They will leave you. They, 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 they will do like Judas. Um, you know what? I don't really think that they're doing the right thing, so I'm going to take them 30 pieces of silver. But as you can see, he really never got to use it. I don't think y'all understand what I'm saying. Let me make it plain. Be careful of your decision. And some of you have already made it, so you better repent. Some of you already made it. You know what you did, how you did what you did. And, and that's all right. I get it. I get it. Because everybody got two files. And if they show you the wrong file, I guess you would be doing your country a service. But you never asked God, did you? Is this true? Did this person really do this? Am I going against a child of God? You only hear what I just said. It's a dangerous thing. Ain't nobody trying to threaten you. That's a promise, honey. You can't just talk about a child of God, move about a child of God, set up a child of God. Y'all heard me. And you're doing it for money, honey, and funny. I know what I'm talking about. I've been watching it since 2014. Didn't believe it. So I understand that, you know, yeah, it's kind of far-fetched. Until you start seeing that thing. God showed me even one family member. Oh, I, I was bold. That day I went to the house. I said, your daughter still is going to get tried for murder no matter how you set me up. She, she just looked at me. I said, yeah. Y'all know I'm kind of crazy. I don't play. Hurt me to my heart when I, I was like, she, she really calling me. I'm way in Washington. What you doing? How you doing? I mean, she was, she was on it. I don't know what she was on. She was on it. Whatever they told her to do, she did it. She was loaning me all kind of money. I'm real with you. And I was like, so finally, I set my spirit. And I was like, no. God said, yeah. I was like. I got mad for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. God said, Diana, do you understand who you are and who you are? I just said something to somebody. So then I start getting closer to God. I said, okay, this stuff real. This stuff real, bro. Don't matter who believes me or whatever. I, I know what I'm seeing. I know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm hearing. I said, so God made me strong mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally until the day I die. That's why y'all see me passionate about Christ. Perfect? No, I am not. But I'm going to do it the way he said to do it. I'm going to say what he said to say. And whatever happened, happened. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I just said. And if you can't take the heat, I suggest you repent. You heard what I just said. Now we're going to go ahead and get into class. How you doing, Prophetess Renita? Look at her. She's looking at me like, oh, no, she didn't. Yes, I did, honey. Yes, I did. Come on. And, it, and it's going to get thicker. It's going to get real thicker. Because people are dying without Christ. The church have left the oracles of God to where we are dying without Christ, even in the church. We, we, we diluted. I told y'all the other night, a diluted church. What's a diluted church? You, you ain't the church no more. You didn't got diluted with money, honey, and funny. And think it's of God. And then get mad when somebody call you out. I could give you about seven or eight scriptures that say that's what we're supposed to do. And hold on. If I was doing whatever, you also have the authority to call me out too. Because see, let me tell you something. They lie. Leaders think that you don't have the audacity or the authority to call them out. I can show you in scripture. Yes, you do. When you're wrong, you're wrong. Period. End of story. Wrong, wrong. Right, right. Hallelujah. So God is saying in this hour, it is time for us to get it together. But first start with yourself. Come clean. Come clean. Ask God to strengthen you. You know what you should. That's why I, when I do these classes, I always ask, ask y'all, not just for me, my sake, for me to know who you are, because I already do, just to be honest with you. I know who each person in here, I know your spirit. And, and even if you're a plant, I know your spirit. And I'm going here. All plants are not evil people. I'll be the first to say it. You just didn't ask God about your assignment because you're trying to get that, that next level. You know what I'm saying? So you're not, you're not an evil person. You're just doing what you think to do. But it's going to cost you in the end. If you did not, if you are, let me tell y'all something. Before I get into this class all the way, you better be authorized. I'm going to say it again. You better be authorized. I'm going to say it one more time. You better be authorized by God and not just by man. Because that's the whole problem that started with the church years ago. We started allowing men to authorize us to do things that God did not authorize. And because they had statue and they were men of statue, we went along with it. Oh, well, they must be God. And we didn't even ask God. And that's why the church is in a, a secular way it is today. To where if you call out sin, and I know what I'm talking about because it's happened to me about three or four times. It's probably going to happen again because I'm going to start doing it again. 
when, when, when we point out sin, oh, you're judging. You dang gonna skip it. Sure is, because that person is leading people to hell. So, so what you talking about, partner? Oh, yeah, let, 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 let's get street for real. I'm not supposed to say nothing? And they leading people to hell? God says, the blood will be on your hand if you don't say nothing. I mean, since we're going scripture, right? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I know, I know, I know it's been tight lately. And the reason why it's been tight lately, because this is what I say. People are dying without God. And God is tired of it. What did we come to earth for for real? Hallelujah. What did we come to earth for for real? Do you know your assignment? Have you asked God your assignment? I'm talking about your real one, by the way. <laughs> I'm not talking about your man-made one. Because I've had a couple of man-made ones too that I really thought it was God. I really did. 